Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Okami. Last time, we fought Orochi at the Moon Cave and defeated him with the help of Susano. Through a miracle, Kushi and Susano created the Eightfold Sake that helped us intoxicate Orochi and defeat him. Today, we are going to celebrate the Kamiki Festival to celebrate one Orochi's death. Actually, no, just celebrate Orochi's death, really. Let's go talk to Kamuso. We're just going to talk to people in this episode, and you can read the dialogue if you wish. But this is when I'll be going over the mythology behind Susano and Orochi. It's not too much to say, but I thought I'd get it out of the way. After now, the ancient monster disappearing with one final roar. The man Susano is a relentless and mighty drive within him. Huh? I sense a new driving force for Susano now. Could it be love? So we're gonna just actually, I wanted to show one thing before I talk about the mythology really quick. Actually, my, it'll be quick enough, I suppose. These people over here in front of this thunder brew. This, this is thunder brew right here. Hey, friend, where have you been? Did you hear about Susano and that monster, man? Yep. Freaky. He used, to do his, he used to do his best to avoid trouble. I'll drink a toast to him. To the brave warrior. Ah, you well, Wolf. Thanks to you, business is good. I'm enjoying a celebratory drink. Ah, looking at the crescent moon reminds me of Kaguya. Do you know how anything, anything about her, Wolfie? Uh, how would I? I didn't think so. I'd be pretty amazed if you did. Let's go ahead and, uh, say yes to that... Oh, sure. How could a wolf understand what I'm saying? How ridiculous. Then why'd you even ask Bamboo Brain? <laughs> Such a good line. Ah, you look like you're having fun, wolf. Just chase the monsters off of your territory, have you? You know, the festival's a time for it to honor our sacred tree, Konohana. May the gods smile on us and lend you their strength. Alright. Let's go ahead and draw this thunder brute to everyone and <laughs> shock them. <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa, speak to me! Stay away from the light! Wow, he's down for the count. And this, it's anything different for this guy. Whoa, that's some powerful stuff. Alright, let's get into the mythology. Well, we just go ahead and talk to some people. Um, in mythology, Susano is god of sea and storms, brother to Am Amaterasu and Tsukiyomi, and son to Izanagi. Susano was banished from heaven after going through a fit of rage, effectively destroying Amaterasu's domain. In the Izumo province, he learned that, uh... He learned that Yamata no Orochi, the eight-headed dragon, had devoured seven of eight daughters of an old couple and was coming to eat the eighth, uh, Kushi Narahime. Susano, to save her, turns Kushi into a comb, which he sticks into his hair. Yeah, Japanese mythology was kind of weird, wasn't it? Uh, he got the old couple to brew eight-fold sake, which were placed in tubs. When Orochi appeared, each head drank one tub of sake and drank it and they fell asleep. In the beast's sleep, Susano killed Orochi, and from his body got the blade called Kusanagi no Surugi. This was presented as a gift to Matarasu. She gave it to Nanigi, her descendant, along with a mirror, Yate no Kagami, and the jewel of Gasakani no Magatama. Uh, the mirror, the jewel, and the blade represent the three weapons to be used in Okami. Mirrors represent reflectors, the jewels represent the rosaries, and the blade represents the glaive. Now, his brother Tsukiyomi, god of the moon, angered their sister Amaterasu when he killed the goddess of food, Ukemochi. He was chosen to represent Amami at the feast hosted by Ukemochi, but the food was made in a way he uh, found disgusting, so he killed her. I won't go into any details here as to not disgust anyone and avoid the death of, like, an innocent cook or something. When she learned of the murder, Amaterasu refused to look at Tsukiyomi ever again, and this is why day and night are never together. We didn't talk to as many people as I would have liked, but it's not a big deal. So yeah, the, uh, the whole weapon thing actually comes from mythology too, and speaking of weapons... For defeating Orochi, we got a new weapon, and overall a new type of weapon. Let's go ahead and check out our equipment. We got Sumagari, which is the... Which is Orochi's glaive, which is a new form of Tsukiyomi after Orochi ate it. So, even the weapons come from something in mythology. We get to grab these turnips, but let's be nice and not do that. So... Kamiki Village is in a festival state, and I love this music so much. And I know, like, I have two LPs going on right now where I just praise the music all the time. Cave Story and Okami. But I really... Okami's soundtrack is just fantastic. It's not quite my favorite soundtrack of all time, but it's way up there, you know. Bravely Default is probably still my favorite soundtrack, but hey, you know, whatever. Well, what do you think? You like my latest works of art? Nothing like seeing them up close. Don't get too close, though. Get ready to be amazed. Here I go. The brightest constellation in the sky, the fabled Duo Spectacular. Uh, time will display a, generally a different firework every time you talk to him. This one is going to be of a wolf of army, it seems. We'll talk to him once more and 
see what else he displays. Oh, he's an and Susano. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, there you are. Impressive, eh? Let's not scare him. Alright, what's up? I'll be fighting off a whole bunch of magic tonight. Hold on to your hats. Here I go. We don't really wear a hat. I mean, if I could wear a team captain, you know, burning team captain with, like, bubbles. However that works, I would totally do that, but... I don't got the ref for that, man. I don't got the ref for that. Ami, Eastern, and Susano. Yeah, okay, it's the same. Whatever, not a big deal. At least he's had something different, so it's a little bit interesting to see it again. There you go, Pesave, yeah. Whatever. These two people over here, we've never met these people before. Camellia. Wow, look, look, sis, the fireworks are awesome. Yeah, we're so lucky to see a display like this on our travels. They say, I could just give up on traveling and stay here forever. Yeah, we won't really stop traveling, will we? Uh, let's go ahead and tackle her. Hey! Haha, <laughs> you got knocked over. <laughs> I love those characters. We'll get more into exactly who they are later. Actually, while we're here, every time we revive a guardian sapling, Konohana gives us a new fruit to give us something new. You know, new treasure, generally. So, golden peach, not bad. Let's cut this one down, too. This is much like the beginning of the game where we cut down the fruit to revive Kamiki. So, yeah, I'll call back, I call back to the beginning of the game, I suppose. So, Crystal, uh, so we'll come back here every time we revive a guardian sapling. Not that there's that much more to revive. But, yeah, this is the sun, so it's worth it. I love this music so much. It's so happy and represents, like, Orochi's dead, now you can celebrate. Now the world's, you know, supposedly at peace, everyone thinks. But, you know, as we learned last time from the epilogue of this arc, Orochi, um, the dark spirits flew off from Orochi's corpse and spread to, into the distance. So there's possibly some trouble uh, elsewhere. But, eh, we'll figure more about that later. Okay, let's talk to you then. Fireworks! <laughs> what a dialogue. What a dialogue, yeah. A paw print. Mushi's mom, for some reason. And a radish. I was about to say it was a carrot, which I guess they look similar, similar when they're not colored. They're great fireworks. Really great. Prettier than ever, ever before this year. Oh, how wonderful! A truly joyous occasion! Susano defeated Orochi and saved Kushi. It was as if the legend of old had appeared right before our eyes. I had feared Susano would bring dishonor upon his heroic lineage. But when I saw him as he dashed out of his door in his armor to save Kushi, he sure was the spitting image of the great Nagi. How happy I was to see him like that. Of course, I've never glimpsed Nagi in the flesh myself, but... Say, where did that Susano get to now? I was about to dance for Konohana instead of presenting the usual offering of eight purification sake. Anyway, it's all his fault! He squandered all the sacred sake. Man, there's nothing like a good festival. I used to go to festivals all the time back home. <sighs> well, uh, I wasn't thinking about my mommy or anything like that. Anyway, I mean, you can't keep slacking off like this. Can you even name all the brush techniques? So far, you found nine. Let's see. There's rejuvenation, power slash, and sunrise. Then there's the three top part techniques of the gods of flora. You know, bloom, water lily, and vine, which only count as one. And finally, there's cherry bomb, water spout, crescent, gale storm, and inferno. Wonder where the other four brush gods are hiding. The remaining four brush techniques are the hardest to find. We've searched all over the countryside already. Now that we've taken care of that Orochi and all, maybe it's time we headed out to the capital city. If there are more gods, if there are more people, there could be more gods there. Don't let it bother you, Ami. I haven't seen Susano or Kushi around either. It's not too hard to figure out it out, though. I mean, a man and woman disappear during a festival? That's a dead giveaway. They have the hearts for each other. I won't go looking for them right now if I were you. Yo, yeah, we're gonna do that anyway. Let's jump off this thing. We can jump off this thing. That's really unfortunate. Okay. We have to go to Ko uh, Konohana again and enter the Cave of Nagi, and that's where we'll find Susano and Kushi. So I'm actually gonna cut to the Cave of Nagi, specifically where we found the statue of Nagi, uh, where we got Power Slash originally. But let's go ahead and go through this gate. We have to do that to actually access the Cave of Nagi and actually talk to Sakya. Great Mother Okami Matarasu. I am filled with unbridled joy at your safe return. It would appear the final chapter of Orochi has been written. The entire village is in your debt. Please accept their thanks. That said, what a splendid evening. And even I'm feeling a bit intoxicated by the festival spirit. Alright, well, let's go ahead and cut to the Cave of Nagi. Alright, here we are, basically. This is where we started our adventure. This is where we got rejuvenation and power slash. We can still see the constellations of Yomigami and Tachigami. So, that's cool. Oh, it's you again. I see you sniffed me out once again, you little mutt. Well, I suppose, um, I should thank you. 
I may be the goodest swordsman ever, and a descendant of Nagi, but this great deed would not have even been possible without a, a follower. When did you become his follower? I commend your valor. Let us become brothers in arms. Brothers in arms? Don't be bashful. Let us pray before Nagi's statue. We're now inseparable brothers in arms. What an auspicious day, isn't it, brother? Isn't it, brother? Susanna's trusty dog brother. Ha <laughs> ha Hey, Pops, this here's a wolf, not a dog. And this one has a name, too. It's a Matarasu. Oh, you take good care of my brother, little bug. My good mutt here may have a pretty strange face, but still, you mustn't forget you are dealing with a highly revered deity. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, what did you just say? No need to worry. I'm protecting the peace here in Kamiki Village. Behold, Tornboku. I now rechristen it Susano Blossom. With this spirit blade, I shall invent, uh, bend evil, whatever it may be. But you wish you had one of these inst instead of that divine instrument. So you were able to see Ami's true form from the beginning? Since he is a, a descendant of Nagi, yeah. And Isim too. How brave you both were. Everyone here in the village is so grateful to you. We really can't thank you enough for bringing us peace at last. Oh, come on, sweetie. Everyone plays their part in dangerous times like these. There's no need for us to go around thanking each other. Very well, Isim. Thank you. Now tell me, Snowy, are you really just an ordinary wolf? The broken mill suddenly fixed, spring water flying into the barrel. So many strange things have been happening since you came along. And you certainly know how to put up a good fight, too. A fight? What fight? Oh, you must mean the brawl with Orochi. Maybe you're a kind of god, here to keep the peace for us all. But I know you wouldn't want people to make a fuss, so I've been careful not to tell anyone too much about you. You can relax here in our village anytime you want, Snowy. So if Susano, you know, knows our, we are a god, he can see our markings, likely because he's a descendant of Nagi, original slayer of Orochi, and Kushi's always had her suspicions that we are a god, or at least since I'm, I'm assuming since the water went to the barrel, she's had her suspicions, but, you know, Orochi fights sort of proved to her that we're some sort of god, so that's nice. But we're gonna head out of Kamiki now, and after we go through this gate, we are going to cut back to the, uh, to the entrance of Kamiki and, and and finish the Kamiki festival is not much else to do here actually while we're here back in Kamiki last time we got some uh, stray beads that the other two stray beads that were in Kamiki this time we're gonna go to this other island now that it's still nighttime during the Kamiki festival it'll be nighttime as long as you don't leave the village so you don't have to worry about that actually if we're trying to bring out the sun why are you trying to draw the sun right now don't be such a party pooper it's a perfect night for a festival if you try to draw the moon Huh? The moon won't come out. Guess it's resting somewhere if they're helping us defeat Orochi. Anyway, it's not like the moon shines for our sake. Let's give it a break, okay? We could try again some other time. The moon needs a break. Okay, and it's sleeping too. Sure. Some treasure over on this island is nothing important, you know, just stuff we can sell, basically. Stray beads, though, they're, you know, much more important, and that's why we got them last time. I didn't want to waste time, you know, not going after Orochi and, Su and Kushi of that, say, Sushi. She was gonna be. Okay, I was gonna say she's gonna be sushi when she got eaten by Susano. It's not no, elaborate on that sentence. Uh, by Orochi, but you know she's not a fish, so you can't really become sushi. That's not a thing you humans can do because they're not fish. I hope they're not fish. Otherwise, you know my whole life has been a lie. Did we talk to both of these dogs? I'm, I don't know. I shall become a great warrior like you someday. My master and I are going to go out and experience the world. Good for you guys. I can't wait until we meet again. I know I talked to Hayabusa, so I'm not worried about that. And even if we didn't, we can't say anything all that interesting. So let's go and talk to this merchant over here. Sell our stuff. Sell our new stuff, basically. Aha! There you are, pup! Can't deny it now. Nagi's descendants really are special. Beating Orochi like that. It's amazing. The villagers have just started celebrating at the sacred deck. Yup, a peaceful village like this wouldn't be a bad place to settle. So better get on with business, I guess. Do some shopping, yes. Well, shopping, selling, you know, same thing. Let's actually go ahead and buy some more feedbacks. Let's buy two of these, two of these, maybe eight of these. So we just have ten equal ones. And, I don't know, five is actually pretty good of, uh, of those. Alright, uh, whoops, uh, let's leave Kamiki now. Wow, well, that wraps up this year's Kamiki Festival. Sure, hope they can have fun like this again next year. Well, for about, I think it's about time we head to the capital. We gotta find those other four brush gods. Matrasu, you have only just performed your duties that you plan to leave. My heart aches at the thought of our separation. Sakya, you didn't have to come all this way just to say goodbye. Boy, you're pretty tough, pretty uptight for a tree spirit. 
but at the instant of Orochi's passing, I, I quite clearly saw a swirling black mist. In the confusion, I distinctly, I distinctly sensed an evil other than Orochi. I'm not sure what it could be. Is there something else at work? Shinshu has been restored. Of that, there is no doubt. But nature's tormented cries ring out in other parts of Nippon. Especially chilling are those emanating from the capital and Ryoshima coast beyond the bridge in Taka Pass. Well, we are planning on visiting that place anyway. The black essence board of Orochi's husk. It was moving toward the capital as well. I cannot say for sure exactly what that means. What I do know is that whatever has plunged this world into chaos has not yet finished toying with us. This ordeal is far from over. Is that it? No sage advice for us heroes? My apologies, little one. The challenges you face on your journey will be many. But I know that, though you will grow weary, you will prevail. The road each will be fought, fraught with peril, but I pray that the fresh scent of flora will protect you. Matarasu, Isun, I wish you a safe and fruitful journey. She's gone. A safe and fruitful journey? After what she said? Give me a break. But I always knew getting up the brush techniques wouldn't be easy. On to the capital. First stop, the city checkpoint at Taka Pass. Yeah, that's where it is. But I think that's going to do it for this episode. The Kamek Festival is fun and all, but we got to end it sometime. Next time, we will head to the city capital, or at least make our way to it. We'll probably head there, actually, because I don't want to waste your time. But thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the part, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Okami.